Sorry guys. Come back. Okay, there we go. <laughs> this is what this is. <laughs> Ready for chemistry? Now, I am just going to um, break this word up into smaller pieces, right? So if we don't know a word, I do not know this word, how do we read it? Well, we find small pieces and we break up the small pieces. <clears throat> so let's go one bit at a time, right? F, right? I have F. I know this. We just learned TH, F, F. YL says, oh, oh. So, Ethel. E plus E says E. In. So we have one piece. Ethylene. <laughs> Welcome to chemistry class. <laughs> Maybe I'm losing people. Oh no. Ethylene. Di. Am. In. Diamine. Mmm. Ethylene, diamine. Right? So we just break into small pieces. Ethylene, diamine. Okay. Tetra. Tetra. Okay, another piece. Tetra. Acid. Tates. So the ah sound or uh uh sound is usually acetates. So the ah sound or uh uh sound is usually it's by itself, just the uh by itself. So acetates. And now we can read it. Right? Now we can read ethylene diamine tetraacetates. <laughs> so it's a really big word and it looks very hard, but we can just use small pieces. <laughs> so if you want to say it with me, I'll say it one more time. Ethylene diamine tetraacetates. So yeah, if you want to know what that means, I can talk about it, but <laughs> tetra means four. These are acetates. Diamine. Di means two. Amine isn't that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's move on to some uh, <laughs> some words we actually are going to use. That was a good one. That was fun. <laughs> I think it's fun. It just shows that if you have a, a big word and you do not know it, you can still read it. You just need to make smaller pieces. <laughs> All right, good word. <laughs> All right, any more questions about TH or um, from your test questions? I know two people said they have a test coming up. So anything you want to practice, or we can, I'll, we'll keep going for a few minutes. We're going, we're doing good. We can go back to look at some pictures um, if you want. So let me know what's next. Do you have a question? Pictures, TH sound. What do you want to do for like, I don't know, 15, 15 more minutes? Okay, any advice on how to avoid nervousness when I'm doing my speaking test in front of the teachers? Great question. Um, practice. <clears throat> so I have a question for you. Will you remember what you are going to say? Or are they going to ask you new questions? So will you be able to practice what you will say? Or are they going to ask you questions? Um, 
I think first I will say I'll wait till you type it's hard to type and listen at the same time they're going to ask me random questions okay great so first I will say <clears throat> most teachers of language also learn based on the book okay great most teachers of language are also learning languages so usually if I, I teach English I can speak some French because I like language so because your teacher probably speaks another language or they have learned at least a little bit of another language they know how you feel so they know you are nervous they know it is difficult to be there speaking so they know you are nervous and it's okay um, I think when we get nervous we try to or we try to speak sometimes I think when we try to speak we don't speak as well right in English I speak English this is my first language when I try to speak English right now I am trying to think oh what do I say it's harder to speak so I think my advice is to try to be calm know that your teachers know how you feel they know you're nervous and it's okay um, but the more comfortable you can feel talking to them probably the better you will do so first practice um, practice talking about the, the topics the ideas that you are learning um, practice you know maybe I don't know if that you have some example questions um, practice some examples or if you can tell me a topic maybe I can give you give you an example question um, yeah go slowly the astronaut is right don't try to go really fast um, some students I see when they are going so fast that's when you miss a word or you forget what you are saying so go slow you're saying so go slow it's okay to speak slowly like now I am speaking slowly I'm thinking about what I'm saying um, yeah I think um, probably it sounds like you speak good English you type very well so I'm guessing that you speak well and this is an advanced English class so probably they are looking at your um, your conversational ability um, how you are able to speak in the past tense or present tense or future tense yeah just go slowly and um, yeah <laughs> practice practice the vocabulary that's a good question <clears throat> there's an interesting topic which starts with the question would you rather be a risk taker or a risk averse person Ooh. okay that's great so you can practice right practice your answer I would rather be a risk taker because um, I think one very important thing about questions is that usually when we are asking and answering a question we use the same words in the answer and in the question so your question is would you rather be a risk taker or a risk averse person and here so we can see we can see the words would you rather be so in the answer we are going to use the same the same words would you rather I 
would rather be a risk taker or a risk averse person because um, so that's something maybe helpful um, usually we can use the same words in our answer um, and I think that would be a long answer <laughs> like <clears throat> I don't know you have to think about it too right like I'm thinking I think I would rather be a risk taker because if you don't take a risk you will never know if you are going to succeed and maybe your life will be more boring if you don't take a risk <laughs> the answer has to last only one minute okay so yeah I would practice and even if the teachers ask you different questions than the questions you practiced you the practice is still good how can you shorten what practice <laughs> practice uh, and time yourself right use a timer um, use a timer so answer that question so when you are home just imagine the teacher asks you the question right <clears throat> And you read the question, would you rather be a risk taker or a risk averse person? Then start the timer and start talking. And when it gets to one minute, did you say everything or you didn't say everything? Um, I think when, when we answer, a, and this is called an open-ended question, it means any answer. I can say I would rather be a risk taker because I like jumping out of planes and I don't want to stop, right? It, I can say anything, but <clears throat> usually when we have a question like this, we will give examples. So I would rather be a risk whatever because one, two, three, right? Like three examples because one and two and three so you have like your main idea which is I want to do this because three examples and if you have time left then you can have a an ending statement so for example I would say ready go I want to be a risk I would rather be a risk taker because if I don't take risks, I will not succeed. Maybe my life would be boring if I don't take any risks. For example, if I did not start streaming English, I would never know if it would be good or bad. So I need to take the risk to find out if it will be good or bad. And I would rather be a risk taker because uh, my hero is um, that person. <laughs> my hero is whoever um, who likes to um, run really fast. And I don't know how to do that, so I want to try it too. Right? Like, this is a hard question for me too. <laughs> so your teachers will understand. I will answer and give some examples. Does that help? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And thank you everyone who's listening. If you have any questions, I hope that's helpful. Um, I am trying to think, I, when I had speaking tests in French, I remember they will grade us on um, the vocabulary, you know, are you using the vocabulary that you learned, and are you, um, yeah, are you using the things you learned?